Hello and welcome to the solution video to spicy question number three. In this question we have Tim who has £12,000 and he's going to invest it for five years. He's not going to put it all in one bank though, he's going to spread it across two banks, bank A and bank B, in the ratio 2 to 3. So we first of all need to work out how much money is invested into each of the banks. To do this we add the parts of the ratio, so 2 add 3 is 5, and then divide 5 into 12,000 to get one part of the ratio, so 12,000 divided by 5 is 2,400. Now we invest two parts into bank A, so 2,400 times 2, that's 4,800, and three parts into bank B, so 2,400 times 3, is 7,200. So we now know that 4,800 goes into bank A, and 7,200 goes into bank B. It then says that at the end of the second year, Tim takes some money from bank B and puts it into bank A. So we need to work out how much money would be in the banks after two years. So for bank A we've got £4,800 and it says it's 4% compound interest, for two years that would be 4,800 times 1.04 squared, which gives you £5,191.68. pence. For bank B we've got this special rate of 5% compound interest for two years, so let's do 7,200, that's how much goes into that bank, at 5% for two years is £7,398. So at the end of the second year this is how much money will be in each of the banks. Then we're going to take some money from bank B and put it into bank A. Now we don't know how much money it is so I'm just going to call it capital M. So after two years I'm going to take M away from bank B and put it into bank A. So bank A will increase by M, so it will be 5,191 plus M, but bank B will decrease by M, so £7,938 take away M. Now we're told that at the end of the fifth year both banks have the same amount of money in them. So if I imagine this is how much is in there after year 2 and continue with the compound interest calculation, I need to end up with the same value for both banks. So in bank A I've got £5,191.68 plus M, and I'm going to leave this in there for 3 more years at 4% compound interest, so times by 1.04 to the power 3. Now this must be equal to how much is in bank B after those 3 years. So in bank B we've got 7938 take away M, and this is now down to our usual rate of 1%, we don't have that special compound interest rate of 5%, so it's 1% for 3 years, so times by 1.01 cubed. Now if we expand the brackets on both of these sides we end up with this, and on the right, and it makes sense to get all of the terms involving M onto one side, so I'm going to collect them all on the left. So if you rearrange this you'll end up with 1.04 cubed M plus 1.01 cubed M equals all of this. Now what we'll do is we'll factorise our M on the left hand side, and keep the right hand side the same, and then just divide both sides by what's in this bracket, and then you'll end up with M equals this, divide by the bracket, and if you type all of this into your calculator you'll get the answer, which is £1,085.11. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful, check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.